I am holding in my hand the Muslim Brotherhood plan for the destruction of the United States, written 5-22-1991. The title of the plan is مذكرة تفسيرية للهدف الاستراتيجي العام للجماعة في أمريكا الشمالية. You all got that? <laughs> there will be a quiz. It is titled The Muslim Brotherhood, uh, an explanatory memorandum for the general strategic goal for the group, the Muslim Brotherhood in North America, written 5-22-1991. This plan was presented as evidence in the Holy Land Foundation trial, the largest terrorism trial ever in the history of the United States, where our government handed down, hello, my best friend, where our government handed down 108 guilty verdicts for Muslim Americans and Muslim American organizations raising money for, to support terrorist organizations in the Middle East to the tune of millions. And I'm just gonna read you a paragraph of this plan so it'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about. They talk about the settlement in the United States. And I have to put my glasses on because God in his wisdom decided I turned 49 and I needed reading glasses. Wait until I get to heaven. I'm convinced he's a man. If he was a woman, he would know I would look better without glasses. Understanding the role of the Muslim brother in North America. The process of settlement is a civilization jihadist process with all the word means. The Akhwan, which is the Arabic word for brothers, must understand that their work in America is a kind of grand jihad in eliminating and destroying the Western civilization from within and sabotaging its miserable house by their hands and the hands of the believers so that it is eliminated and Allah's religion is made victorious over all other religions. Is this clear? They don't mince words, do they? But the most important page of this document is the last page. Because in the last page, they list 29 front Islamic organizations set up in the United States with the specific goal of sabotaging America from within and destroying America by our own hands. And I'm just gonna name a few. Number one on the list is ISNA, Islamic Society of North America. And if you're familiar with ISNA, it's because they are now advisors to President Obama about Middle East policy. So we not only have the Fox watching the hen house, we have the Fox inside the White House dictating policy in the ear of the president. Number two on the list is the MSA, the Muslim Student Association. The Muslim Student Association has more chapters on American college campuses than the Democrats and the Republicans combined. Number eight on the list is Nate, the North American Islamic Trust. The North American Islamic Trust owns the deed to over 90% of American mosques in the United States. That is a problem. Now, what makes this very important, and I'm gonna focus in the last three minutes, five minutes on education, is to show you how they set up every organizations in this plan to destroy America, focusing on every sector of our society. Organizations focused on publishing, organization focused on media, organization focused on education with the strict purpose of doing sabotage to America from within. And I'm not talking military. We know that ISIS and Al-Qaeda and all the others want to do attack the United States and, and, and do damage to the United States. As a matter of fact, we in the United States has a, have 150 terrorist organizations right now operating in America. Five of them are operating right here in the District of Columbia. And our government, and these are the ones we know about. 